If you're uploading photos to your website that you took right off your digital camera, you are probably slowing down your website um, an amazing amount. And today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to take your pictures from your digital camera and make them optimized for placing onto your website. So here I have a picture of my friend Heather, and this is just over a four megabyte file. And it's pretty huge. It's great for like printing out a poster, but I want to put Heather on my website. So what I'm going to do first is go to image, image size, and choose a size that's appropriate for a website. So somewhere around 600 is kind of the, the big column of a website is typical. Let me just zoom in here and make this um, a 100% size. So that's a pretty decent size for a website. Um, and that's the first step is to scale it down to the right size that you're going to use on the website. And then the next one is go to save for web and devices. And you'll see here you've got different options and you'll watch the quality here as you change the options. So right now we've gone from a um, just over four megabyte file down to a 227 kilobyte file. So that is probably about 20 times smaller. So that's great, but that's still really pretty big for the web. So we can go up here to presets and start choosing options here. So let's try with JPEG high. Um, so I really haven't seen anything change in the quality here, but look, now we're down to 20 kilobytes. So that's 200 times smaller or in web terms, 200 times faster for someone to pull up your website. Um, so uh, let's see if we can go even, even uh, smaller than that. Let's go down to JPEG low. So you can see here now we're starting to see her face get pixelated, maybe JPEG medium. There's still some pixelization in there. But going up to high, I really can't see the difference between that and the original. So I'm going to save that one. So I'm going to go in here and give this a, a good name for the web. So we'll just give this the name of the model here, Heather. And make sure you don't use any spaces. So you want to use dashes or um, just leave the spaces out of the name. And hit save. Now I'm going to quick take a look at this file here so you can see the difference. So here is the file Heather at 20 kilobytes and here's that original file at 4.5 megabytes. So we're over 200 times smaller. This is the file that you want to upload to the web. And if you're using WordPress, let's just do that really quick. You would do a add media. Here's the original file, four megabytes. You'll go to upload files, select the files, choose that new small file, uploads really fast. And when we click on that one, you'll see here the file file size is 600 by 337. Add in the data here, insert into post. And you'll see it's a pretty big image. Um, what's typical is what people would typically do that what I've seen is people go into add media and choose that original really big file, the four megabyte one, and then say, oh, you know what? I want to make that smaller. So let me just put that in as a you know a 300 pixel across file and insert into post. So this is actually a smaller picture that the, the website viewer would see, but this one would take 200 times longer to load. So you want to make sure that each time you upload something to the web that the dimensions are correct. Um, you know, definitely less than a thousand pixels across um, and that you've optimized it for web so that it's kind of saving this down and compressing the file so that it's great for website, not so great anymore for printing. If you've got any more questions about using WordPress or images or videos, uh, leave those in the comments down below.